नाउ आई आई लाइक टू स्पीक देर आर आप तो नाउ 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 देर आर टू कंपीटिंग विजन ऑफ दिस कंट्री विच इज फ्रेंकली द मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन अस एंड देम इफ यू रीड द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया यू विल फाइंड एंड मेनी ऑफ माई कॉलीग्स हु हैव नॉट रेड इट शुड लुक इट इट यू विल फाइंड दैट इंडिया इज डिस्क्राइब एज ए यूनियन ऑफ स्टेट्स India is not described as a nation it is described as a union of states yes, yes, yes. what does that mean that means my brother from tamil nadu has to have to others has to have the same right as my brother from maharashtra as my sister from maharashtra as my brother from uttar pradesh as my brother from bihar as my sister from manipur nagaland mizoram that's what it means what it means jammu kashmir of course jammu kashmir nagaland of course andaman nicobar of course that is lakshadweep now what is the difference you have to understand this this is a serious matter i would like to have your view on it and i would like this parliament house to start serious discussions instead of the type of discussions that we are having that is why it is serious it is serious and i would like a serious response right what i heard frankly what i heard in the first address today was not serious what i heard mr devedi say was not serious it did not behoove this house it was not at the standard that this house should be used to it is not at the standard that india should watch now let me come back to the discussion let me come back to the discussion speaker sir there are two visions there are there are there are two visions of this country one vision that it is a union of states meaning it is a negotiation meaning it is a conversation meaning i go to my brother in tamil nadu and i say what do you want and he says this is what i want and then he asks me what do you want and i say this is what i want it is a partnership it is not a kingdom yeah. remember that yeah. you will never you will never ever in your entire life rule over the people of tamil nadu yeah. it cannot be done you will never ever in your life rule over these other people please please listen to what i'm saying hello hello पीपल ऑफ द स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया इट हेज नेवर बीन डन इन थ्री थाउजेंड इस never ever the only way india has been ruled and you can look at any empire you want you can look at ashoka the great you can look at the mauryas you can look at the guptas you can look at anyone you want it has always been ruled by conversation and negotiation now what is the problem the problem is you people are confused the problem is you people think that these languages these cultures these histories you think that you you think that you can suppress them you have no idea of history you have no idea what you are dealing with because the people of tamil nadu have inside their heart the idea of tamil nadu the idea of the tamil language and then also the idea of india do not be confused the people of kerala have the idea of i am not i am telling you the truth 
द पीपल ऑफ द पीपल ऑफ केरला द पीपल ऑफ केरला हैव ए कल्चर आई एम नाउ अ मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट ऑफ केरला आई अंडरस्टैंड इट स्लाइटली बेटर दे हैव अ कल्चर दे हैव अ डिग्निटी दे हैव अ हिस्ट्री द पीपल लाइक लाइक द जेंटलमैन सेड द पीपल ऑफ राजस्थान हैव अ कल्चर हैव अ हिस्ट्री हैव a tradition have a language they have a way of life this is like a bouquet of flowers yeah. this is our strength yeah. i learn from the people of tamil nadu i learn from the people of rajasthan i learn even from you every day i learn from you i do it's not funny it's not funny i learn from you right it's not funny anyway there is another vision a vision that india can be ruled by a stick from the center you people have no idea of history because every time it has been attempted that stick has been broken and smashed now now what is happening as a result of your flawed vision of the country two indias are of course being created two indias are of course being created speaker sir adhyaksh mahoday who is going up is there so what is happening what is happening as a result of this flawed vision two indias two india us pe bhi bolta hu us pe bhi bol deta hu main us pe bhi bol deta hu मैं इमरजेंसी में भी बोल देता हूं कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है मैं बोलने से नहीं डरता हूं आप उनका मैं मैं डरता नहीं मैं बोलने से आप एनीवे सो देर आर देर आर टू विजन वन इज अूनियन ऑफ स्टेट्स यूनियन ऑफ लैंग्वेजेस यूनियन ऑफ कल्चर्स ए बुके ऑफ ब्यूटिफुल फ्लावर्स दैट कैन चैलेंज एनी पावर इन द वर्ल्ड नो पावर इन द वर्ल्ड हैज एवर बीन एबल टू चैलेंज दिस बुके ऑफ फ्लावर्स now there is another vision a centralizing vision the vision of a king the idea of a king which the which the congress removed in 1947 we smashed that idea of a king now that idea of a king has come back that there is a king a shahin shah a ruler of rulers a master of masters now what is happening now now speaker sir now speaker sir what is happening aap beech mein mat boliye now now speaker no sabko now speaker sir what is happening as a result of this flawed vision what is happening is that the instruments of the conversation between our states the instruments of the conversation between our peoples what we call the institutions of our country are being attacked and captured by one idea so for example today the idea the idea of tamil nadu the idea of tamil nadu is excluded from indian institutions they can keep coming to you again and again and again and again and saying need 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 and you will say no get out of here right they do not have a voice in your framework the farmers of punjab can stand up and say we do not agree with these three laws they do not have a voice in your framework only the king has the voice the farmers can sit for one year they can sit for one year outside in corona they can die doesn't matter the king does not agree you do not listen to anybody and even all of you my dear brothers and sisters in the bjp i i saw my i saw my dalit colleague speak today paswan ji i saw him yes he knows the history of the dalits he knows who has oppressed the dalit for 3000 years 
and he is speaking with a hesitancy. He is speaking without. I am proud of him. I am proud of this gentleman. He has spoken to me what is in his heart. I am proud of this man. But he is in the wrong party. Don't worry. Ghabrai him up. No. Look, look, speaker sir, speaker sir, speaker sir, I am a democratic person. I will allow him to speak. Ye Suno Egmit. Ye Aap Kisiko Ijajat Nidya Sakte Yadikar Mira. Please bed ya ye. मैं आप वो इजाजत दे सकते हैं क्या आसन को वो इजाजत देने का अधिकार नहीं है ये ये अधिकार आसन का है किसको इजाजत देनी है किसको नहीं इजाजत मान नहीं राहुल जी प्लीज बैठ जाइए मैं दूंगा आपको मौका मैं आपको मौका दूंगा सो स्पीकर सर आप बोलिए सो स्पीकर सर मान्य सदस्य प्लीज बैठिए मैं आपको मौका दूंगा बोलते रहे आप स्पीकर सर सो दिस कंफ्यूज्ड आइडियोलॉजी दिस कंफ्यूज्ड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द नेशन ऑफ इंडिया इज प्लेइंग हैवक विद दिस कंट्री एंड आई गिव यू एग्जांपल्स the judiciary, the election commission, Pegasus. These are all instruments of destroying the voice of the union of states. When you apply Pegasus on an Indian politician, when the prime minister personally goes to Israel and authorizes the use of Pegasus in India, he is attacking the people of Tamil Nadu. He is attacking the people of Assam. He is attacking the people of Kerala. He is attacking the people of Bengal. Eight minute point of order. Point of order. Fifty-two one. Three fifty-two one. Speaker sir, three fifty-two one कहता है कि a member while speaking shall not refer to any matter of fact on which a judicial decision is pending. Supreme Court में ये pending है sir, sir. और यदि इनको सुप्रीम कोर्ट पर विश्वास है कोर्ट पर विश्वास है तो ये अपना फोन जो है जमा करें पहले ये शामिल हो सर ये पहले उसके इंक्वायरी में शामिल हो क्योंकि इनका नाम भी पैकेसस में है सो कॉल ये जो कह रहे हैं इसीलिए ये पैकेसस का नाम नहीं ले सकते सर ये कॉपरेट नहीं कर नाउ सो व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इज दैट इज दैट ए पर्टिकुलर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन has captured the institutional framework of the country and is attacking the voice of the different states of this country. And my fear is that you will get a reaction from that voice. My fear is that this attack that you are carrying out on the institutional framework of this country is going to get a response from the Union of States. And you are fiddling. I understand this. You might not appreciate it, but my great-grandfather spent 15 years in jail building this thing. My grandmother was shot 32 times and my father was blown into bits. So I understand a little bit about what this country is. My blood has been sacrificed not by me, by my great grandfather, by my grandmother, by my father for this country. So I understand what it is. And you are fiddling with something very, very dangerous. And I am advising you, stop. Because if you do not stop, you will create a problem. You have already started creating the problem. 
The problem has already started in the Northeast. The problem has already started in Tamil Nadu. You're not, it's not, you're not visible. It's not visible to you right now. Jammu Kashmir, which I will speak about, which is my third point. Now, what you're fiddling with is extremely dangerous and it demonstrates a complete lack of understanding of history. Please, this evening, go back and look at all the empires that have ever ruled India. Look at them carefully. You will find that every single one of them is a union of states. There's not a single empire. There was a reason Ashok used to go and put his pillars everywhere. Because it was a union of states where Ashok, the great king, respected everybody. You are disrespecting everybody. Disrespect me, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. But you cannot disrespect the people of this country. Right, now final. And I think one of the more important parts of my speech. Actually, I want to say one other thing, which, which I demand an apology from the Home Minister. And this represents again the idea of a union of states versus the idea of a king. Now, a few days ago, some political leader, I'm not going to name, came to me from Manipur. And he was very agitated. I spoke to him, I said, why are you agitated, my brother? And he says, Rahulji, I have never felt as insulted as I have a few days ago. I said, why? He said, Rahulji, a delegation of Manipuris, political leaders, senior leaders went to see the Home Minister. Outside his house, we were told to take off our shoes. And when we went inside his room, we found that the Home Minister was wearing his chappal. What does this mean? What exactly does this mean? Why is it that in the Home Minister's house, the Home Minister can wear chappals, but a delegation of Manipuri politicians cannot. What does this mean? Why? Why? No. It reflects... No. No. I'm not saying wrong. I'll show you a photo, Speaker Sir. I'll show you a photo. I said to that person, I said to that person, you're wrong. He said, Rahul Ji, I'll show you a photo. And he gave me a photo. This is not the way to deal with the people of India. Anyway. Anyway. Now, let me come to my final and I think most important point. Go ahead. We, we are sitting Sanskriti Sanskriti ye hoti hai ki wo bhi jute utare aur aap bhi. Sanskriti ye nahi hoti ki wo jute utare aap nahi. Ye pata nahi kaun si Sanskriti aap ki. Anyway, let me finish. Let me finish. Very very ridiculous argument against the honorable Home Minister. It's not. And it has touched the religious sensibility. It has touched the religious sensibility of all our people. Who will decide? 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 Speaker sir, ये ये भारत के धर्म के ऊपर अटैक कर रहे हैं, भारत के धार्मिक परंपराओं पे अटैक कर रहे हैं, और ये हम सब की धार्मिक परंपराओं के ऊपर आगाह है। हमारे घर में भी यही है परिस्थिति। Speaker sir, Speaker sir, it reflects, it reflects, it reflects a mentality, it reflects a sense. That I am bigger than you. You are nobody. I am everybody. That is why I will wear my shoes and you will not. Anyway. Anyway, going back to the main point. Now, and the final most important point. My understanding is that the RSS and the BJP 
is playing with the foundations of our country. And they are weakening the foundations of our country. They are weakening, they are weakening the links between our people. They are weakening the links between our languages. Now, they have further weakened the country. They have further weakened the country by ensuring that not a single Indian youngster can get a job. So today, unlike a decade ago, 15 years ago, India is weak. Ask yourselves, ask yourselves why you were not able to get a guest on Republic Day. Ask yourself that question. Don't look surprised. Ask yourself that question. What is happening is that India today is completely isolated. You, we are completely isolated and surrounded. We are surrounded in Sri Lanka, Nepal, Burma, Pakistan, Afghanistan, China, everywhere we are surrounded. And our opponents understand our position. Please let me speak, because I'm saying something very serious. Right? I'm saying something very serious. Let me say, it. we are, we have been weakened. The conversation between our people is not taking place. Our institutions are under attack. And we are completely surrounded. The Chinese have a very clear vision.